Hello, I'm Annie Dance, and I'd like to share with you a fast way I found to set up closed captioning for free via the Zoom platform. Uh, you may follow me on Twitter at Annie M. Dance, N-N-I-E-M-D-A-N-C-E. -E. I am a journalist and researcher, and I've also been on a Disabilities Commission, served on a Disabilities Commission in Danbury, Connecticut for several years prior to moving south to North Carolina. I still spend time in Connecticut, but I found um, in the pandemic especially, closed captioning has been a very big challenge to not only find ways to enable it, but find ways for organizers to not realize that it doesn't have to be that hard to set up. They just have to know where to look. And it does take some time to think about it and research it effectively in order to turn on the proper settings. And you know, there's a lot of limitations of technology, but technology can also be a very good thing. I'm not showing you my beautiful face right now because our internet's a little slow um, today and want to make sure this doesn't buffer or have any other connection issues because this is some very important information. So let's get started. Now I'm going to share my screen. And one thing I will just note that I'd like to show you some settings via Zoom on my end as I'm recording, but that's not possible due to the functionality. I'm using a Mac laptop and the, what I'm gonna show you applies to that. I don't, I'm not sure how, if you might encounter other features or obstacles if you're on another um, device. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you how I enabled Zoom closed captionings fairly quickly. It takes a few minutes, but going forward, I think this will be um, a great feature now that I can share my knowledge. So I'm gonna share my screen, bear with me just one minute. And it's giving me a bunch of different options. Who can share only host? I'm gonna set all that up. Um, and because this is something I'm going to be posting on social media and possibly YouTube. So <clears throat> first I Googled simply free closed captioning for Zoom. And you see a bunch of different options. I scroll down to the section, second option and we're gonna click on that. And that gives us some helpful information that some of this that pops up in the article um, you know, is, they, they give you a lot of information. They give you a support article. And then down here, there's a GIF, which a GIF actually is not very um, accessibility friendly, especially for people with vision disabilities um, because of the, the rotating text. So when I see things like this, honestly, it gets me very angry uh, because the Americans with Disabilities Act was written, you know, was approved into law in 1990, right? It's 2022. Things like this, I understand possibly this may be the best way to show someone, but people have to understand not everyone can see, right? Not everyone can hear. I am mostly deaf. I rely on closed captioning to understand uh, the context and the content. Now, I can go off on a tangent and talk for hours about, about accessibility and you know, best practices, but for today, let's focus on this. So on Zoom, there are, in your settings, there's a live transcription feature that needs to be enabled. That is, that's the way for free, if you have a free account, that's, what has to be enabled on your settings end. So once you're logged into Zoom, your Zoom profile on a computer, this I my understanding is these settings are only work to be enabled on a computer. If you go to your settings page, you'll see lots of different options. And then there's an advanced uh, section 
and under that are captioning. So the best way I found to get there is doing a find control F or command F on a Mac here and simply put in captioning because you'll see or you'll tab down if you use uh, accessibility features on your computer, you can tab down to where it says closed captioning and then there's several different options. You wanna make sure allow live transcription service to transcribe meeting automatically and allow viewing a full transcript in the in meeting side panel are selected. I selected all of them. I went through this and selected all of the, the settings I thought would be most relevant. I'm not planning to host many meetings myself, but I find it helpful and beneficial to know what settings are available so I can advocate for myself and advocate for people with disabilities to meeting organizers, especially those in government who claim they don't know how to set it up. I've been told that more times than I can count. I don't know how to, how to do that, right? All right, take two minutes and figure it out. <laughs> so I'm taking two minutes or a few more minutes more to figure it out. So and once that's all set up, um, and I will say too, there are some other features. I, this is a separate tab that talks about blurring your background. That's a great best practice. However, in reading all of this, um, there are, there's technology limitations. So you make sure your version is a certain version and there's a bunch of other um, features that, you know, it's, it's frustrating because technology can be great, but there's also some limitations. So once you have all of that set up, um, and again, in the settings, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen because it won't let me show you on my personal Zoom um, page what exactly I'm talking about. So the best way you can do is play around with the settings, but that's how you got there, right? So again, make sure live transcription is enabled and that should set it up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen here and just chat for a minute more about why you should care about this. What does it matter? Well, many people rely on closed captioning and people like myself who have hearing aids, I can hear generally, but in an intricate meeting where there's nuanced information, it's vitally important to have a transcript, to have a written way for people to digest and retain the information in a way that is accessible and is in accordance with local, state, and federal law. I can't emphasize that enough. And that is the law, plain and simple, that's it. So make your meetings accessible, take a few minutes to figure out the best practices and accessibility features Ask people who are asking for accessibility what has worked well for them. They might not know, but they might know. They might say, oh, this, what exactly I just did and say, this might be the best course of action. Again, it might be a little bit different if you're trying this on a business account or if you have other settings in another type of account. I myself, again, have not used it as a meeting organizer, but I hope this will help you and making your meetings more accessible. Thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Annie M Dance.